drinking water. Drinking a lot of water the rest of the next three weeks. Just water. No, in fact, I think they am going to get some juice, but, you know, I'll see what happens. But look what I'm adding to the water. Some uh, elderberry. You know. Yeah, put in hot water, cold water, whatever it is. Oh. Ah, good for you. Oh, and then after I finish it, I'm going to take some uh, melatonin before I go to sleep. Melatonin is good when you go to bed. Help you sleep, too. Okay, look. I just finished watching uh, Coming to America. And I got, see, the thing is, okay, my, my plan was this. I was coming to New York. I'm in New York right now. And I figured, hey, they have it in the theater. I want to see it in the big theater because I wanted to see the sets and the costumes because that's what I figured it was about, you know, to get to, to writing, whatever it is. So I got here and I looked it up. And the only time they had it in the theater was a drive-in theater the first night, whenever it came out a few weeks ago, whatever it was. And that was uh, in Queens, a Queens drive-in. It was the only time it sold out right away. Benefit for a museum, something, something like that. Anyway, so I said, oh, and then I, I, I could get Amazon Prime here, but... I don't know what happened. All I know is that I, oh, I visited my, my boy, my boy. I visited my guy, I said my guy, my man. This is my man, Steve. He's, he has the bootleg CDs, right? So I got, uh, he, he just gave me Superfly. I ain't seen Superfly in a long time, so he got Superfly. And then I got, the, because I also can't get this wherever I was going to, um, uh, One Night in Miami. So I'm gonna watch that later. But I, what I did watch on the computer, was a bootleg of uh, coming to America. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I enjoyed it, right? I don't care what anybody said. Sure, it was a, at first I was going to say, well, well, women don't stick fight because I'm South Africa, you know, it's a, it's a man thing. But hey, you have you have uh, uh, the, the, the homie women with you sticks, whatever have you. And then I guess uh, Queen of Zynga, you know, probably had, you know, they forward everything. So I, that, that wouldn't, you know, but I'm not going to spoil it for you. There was some stick fighting in there. But I enjoyed everything. Uh, so Lanelle was popping up. Uh, Morgan Freeman popped them in there. Uh, Trevor Noah, look. <laughs> I've known Trevor a little before he got to America because I chuck check him in South Africa, right? I'm going to tell you, it's not going to spoil it for you, but he has a mustache. It's hilarious. I don't know. Trevor Noah with a mustache is hilarious. What can I tell you, you know? But they're all good sexual chocolates in there. Mm. I really, um, uh, everybody was good. I don't care what anybody says. Everybody was good. I didn't have any beef, no no big beef with the, with the, with the movie or nothing like that. I don't know. People are going to say all kinds of things, I suppose. Uh, also, seeing... Uh, 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 oh, <laughs> I think John Legend's voice is some singing or something like that. Um, what did I say? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, the casting, I think, was fine. You know what I mean? Um, I've, I've really never been into... Uh, what's the name? Um, um, you know, uh, uh, Tracy Morgan, right? He was great in there. He's he fine. I mean, he fits in there. You know what I mean? Uh, who else I was never into, but I appreciated him in this. Um, uh, 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 uh. I don't know. But everybody was really good. Hey, Wesley Snipes. <laughs> all the black references, you know, like the the, the the fraternity struts, you know, all kinds of things, you know, just the, the street thing. I mean, it's right. Le Leslie Jones, I appreciate it in this one. I hate it in, in, the, in the whatever, the, the Ghostbusters 2 or 3 or 29, whatever it was. It's terrible, you know what I mean? But here, she is perfect in there. I mean, I like the whole, the, the homegirls hooking up. The, it was it was really good, you know? And all them people, whoa, Eddie employed a lot of people down there in Atlanta, you know, Tyler Perry Studios, I guess. A lot of people, a lot, you know what I mean? And of course, what I went to see it for was not only the sets, you know, the glorious sets or whatever have you, but I went to see it for the costuming. Man, Ruth Carter, you think Black Panther had some costuming. Man, they she she just went all out. She just had they must have had a budget. You know what I mean? They must they must have had a good budget. Anyway, so um so yeah, I gave I gave my man Steve money for it and instead of the streaming services, which just stream anyway, we don't know. I'm not here anyway. I'm gonna take it down. I don't know what's gonna happen. Anyway, so I enjoyed it. If you can go see, if you can see it, see it. It's enjoyable. I oh, forget. Uh, Hardhead knuckleheads are gonna have the old criticism. Oh, it's, you know how they do it in films these days. I don't listen to them. 
into it. Get your chuckles. I had to rewind to a couple of scenes, man. Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm good. There's, a, there's stuff in there that you'll, you'll, you'll appreciate. They even had, you know, Samuel Jackson, I heard, couldn't, she had a conflict with, with, with some sort of, you know, scheduling, because that boy working all the time, you know what I mean? I just want him to do Putney Swope. Just throwing that out there. I always throw it whenever I can. But uh, they even got him in there because they got the flashbacks. It worked really, really well. They did. They thought about it. Very good. I enjoyed it. I hope they don't. Do it. I hope they don't make a cover America three. But you know, make a lot of money. Who knows what they're going to do? Anyway, this just me, T from the Pattersons, taking the trains to bed, letting you know what I only suspect about Ed and Murphy and Arsenio Hall and a bunch of other comedians and people. And coming to America. Hey, John Amos was there. I, I was telling, oh, sorry, I was telling John, um, people, so I saw John Amos years ago. He did this one man play, like Haley's Comet or something like that. And and I hope he's still doing that because it's, it's, it was like about an old man, you know, like, like I guess a hundred years old because his comet comes about a hundred years. Anyway, it was really good. So I hope all these people get their vehicles and, and get their stuff done. You know, it was wonderful. Employ all the black actors. Hey, keep on, keep on, keep on. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.